कैंडिडेट असेसमेंट्स इन जोहर एक रोड कैंडिडेट असेसमेंट्स और प्री स्क्रीनिंग क्वेश्चन दैट एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन यूज टू एवेलुएट अ कैंडिडेट रेस्पॉन्सेस एंड डिटरमाइन वेदर दे आर क्वालिफाइड और नॉट क्वालिफाइड फॉर अ गिवन जॉब ओपनिंग टू सेट अप असेसमेंट्स ऑन योर जोहर एक रोड अकाउंट नेविगेट टू दी असेसमेंट्स मॉड्यूल क्लिक ऑन द प्लस आईकॉन and select candidate assessment now as and when you create a candidate assessment the first step involved is to give the assessment a name which is for your reference and select the type that you would like to categorize the assessment under as well you can also choose to click on manage and create additional assessment types but keep in mind you cannot rename or edit the default assessment types but the other options that are not grayed out you can choose to edit them or you can create additional assessment types by clicking on the plus icon or delete existing assessment types apart from the default ones by clicking on the negative icon if you would like to add options in bulk click on add options in bulk type your options one after the other and click on add choices you can also select a default value so the next time you're creating an assessment automatically the assessment type drop down will be populated with the default value that you select here now once you're done determining the type you can add a description for the assessment and you can now go on ahead and give the competency title a competency within an assessment is nothing but a section while you can have multiple sections within an assessment you can have a total of 20 questions within your assessment once you've given your competency title you can then go ahead and add your question once the question has been added you can then click on the gear icon on the right side and mark this as mandatory now if you mark a question as mandatory on an assessment the candidate will have to answer that particular question without which they will not be able to submit their assessment furthermore you can click on the gear icon and click on edit properties at which point you can determine what type of answer the candidate can give in for the question that you have determined right here now the type of answers are categorized into two types that is subjective and objective subjective is where we have single line and paragraph and the candidate can type their answer in objective there are the options radio where all the options are going to be listed and the candidate can select one of the options we then have multi select where multiple options are listed but the candidate need can select multiple options depending on the question we then have drop down where all the options will be revealed once the candidate clicks on the drop down and then the candidate will have to select the answer and finally there's a yes or no option as well Now the difference is in the subjective type answer the candidate has to type the answer in but in the objective type the candidate can select from a predefined list of options so once you've selected an objective type question you can then go ahead and list down the options one after the other and at the same time you can choose to award weightage for each of the answers as well and based on the weightage you can also choose to mark a given question as a qualifier question No whenever there is a qualifier question on an assessment and if the candidate answers incorrectly for the qualifier question they will automatically be marked as unqualified within zohor recruit so once you mark a question as a qualifier question you can determine the minimum weightage that the candidate has to gain in order for them to be marked as qualified once you're done you can also choose to add additional hints as well that acts as a tool tip for the candidate when they're answering the assessment You can have multiple qualifier questions available on the assessment but keep in mind if the candidate were to answer any one of them incorrectly they will be marked as unqualified within Zohor Ekrod. So this is configuring an assessment. At the same time if you have already created assessments on your Zohor Ekrod account and you would like to create or clone questions from an existing assessments you can use the functionality clone existing competency at which point you can select an existing assessment on your zohor recruit account and select the question that you would like to import from the previously created assessment to the newly created assessment once you're done you can click on save and finally to save the changes in the assessment go ahead and click on save on the right top corner so this is creating an assessment in zohor recruit The next step is to attach the assessment to a job opening and allow the candidates to answer the questions as and when they are going to apply for a job opening. So, to proceed and attach the assessment, navigate to the job openings module. You can either go into the existing job opening and publish the job opening using the publish icon on the right top corner. Select the job boards that you would like to publish the job to. 
click on next and then select the assessment from the follow up page. Alternatively, if a job opening is already published on a career site or any job board and you would now like to modify an assessment or attach an existing assessment to the job opening, simply navigate to the job opening record. From the left panel of the screen, select pre-screening assessments under the related list. And on the right side of the screen, you now have the option to add an existing assessment. And once you select an assessment and attach it, automatically, this assessment is going to be displayed across all the sources that the job opening has been published to. Apart from this, you can also perform additional configurations under setup related to assessment by navigating to setup, career site within career website, and candidate application form. Select the default application form that you have available. From the left panel of the screen, select Advanced Options. In here, the option Include Assessment is enabled. This means that as and when the candidate is completing the application form, they will definitely have to complete the assessment without which they, can't, they cannot submit their application at all. Now, if you unselect the Include Assessment option, the assessment becomes an optional entity for the candidate to complete. That is, they can finish their application form submit it to Zoho Recruit and then proceed to complete the assessment. And even if the candidate does not complete the assessment, their application will still be saved within Zoho Recruit. From the candidate standpoint, in order for them to complete the assessment, they can navigate to a job board or the career site wherever they are applying for a job opening. Select a job. And then click on I'm interested. And as and when we scroll down, along with the application form, the assessment is attached to the job opening as well. So once the candidate answers the particular assessment and clicks on submit application, automatically their response will be logged within the candidates module of Zoho Recruit. Now from the recruiter standpoint, recruiters can navigate to the candidates module within Zoho Recruit and they can access an existing candidate record and determine if this particular candidate has answered question or not within the answered assessment section on the related list of the candidate record. Now, if a candidate were to answer an assessment with respect to a job opening, copy of the answered assessment is saved on the application record as well. Apart from this, recruiters can also choose to filter out based on the responses that candidates have to a specific question on an assessment by using smart filters on the left parallel of the screen. So recruiters can select assessment name, select the assessment that they're filtering for, select the question, select the response and click on apply filter. The recruiter now has the search results. They can then select the record from the left panel of the screen, they can navigate to answer assessments and review the responses that the candidate has given for that respective assessment. At the same time, based on the responses that the applicant has for a given assessment, recruiters can choose to submit their review as well. So this is assessments in Zoho Recruit.